You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Avers. Today's topic, the importance of phytonutrients. Uh, in fact, study after study after published study is showing that it may be good to help prevent cancer and even reverse cancer in some cases. With us, we have a, a researcher, a scientist. He's a PhD, Dr. Barry Tan. Dr. Tan, welcome to the program. Thank you, glad to be here. Now we should mention, you've been studying vitamin E for more than 35 years. That it's is It's been correct. your life's work. It is. And you were studying palm and rice to kind of look for the best antioxidant, vitamin E. Is that right? And then you stumbled onto this other plant. Yes. It's uh, better when you tell the story. Okay. It, it is correct. Most vitamin E are tocopherol. Like if you extract it from soybean oil, if you extract it from corn oil, you see tocopherol. You do not so see So when you buy vitamin E over the counter or even a professional brand, it's almost all of this tocopherol form. Yes. Which not is not a, the good form. Not a good form. And in, in fact, if you were to give a number, because you said know your number, probably 95% or more, uh, or more than 95% of vitamin E that you go to a store to buy, it would be tocopherol. So therefore, finding tocotrienol as a supplement would be rare. Okay. And then, so I, I'm in the path to find out where can I find tocotrienol in the natural world. So I first found it from palm, then I found it from rice, this is a short, a uh, uh, few minutes or so. This had been 20 years of my life. So I thought, I need to take a break. Okay. So that was when I left Southeast Asia. I, of course, all this time I was living in Massachusetts. And then I went to South America. The reason I went to South America was in the early 90s, uh, Professor Johanna Seden, she's an ophthalmologist. She said, and she discovered that on the back of the eye, uh, there are lutein and zeaxanthin. It will pre protect the, the retina, particularly the macula, for macular degeneration. And I said, since I'm a carotene scientist, I love this. I said, I know where to get this giant marigold from South America. So I went to South America. To with, help for eyes. To help. I had no okay. notion for toco you know. So there I went, and sure enough, I saw the giant marigold. I said, okay, I got this. But fate has it. I saw 20 feet, 30 feet away from me, an anato plant. I, I saw it. I was so stunned. Why? And because uh, the anato is so beautiful, really red color. And when the pot, which is the fruit, opens, and you will see all the seeds, and there is no flesh. And that is an anomaly in the fruit kingdom, because all fruits have flesh. Okay. And then when we eat. And this and is just opened up the Just seeds. open up seeds. It's as if the way the flesh is just air, like that. And then the seed, it will stain your hand, and that's a carotene. And I'm a Somebody carotene. told you, actually, be careful with that plant because it'll stain your hand. Yes. You have to get so, soap to get it get, off. So, otherwise, it stain your hand for a long time. So I got the seed. I said, my goodness. I said, all carotenes are protected, like if it's in the carrot, beta carotene, in the cell, tomato lycopene in the cell, and even in the lobster, it's bound to protein, and then it will be astaxanthin. So when I saw this intensely red color, I said, I need to study this. What is protecting the color, and what are the phytonutrients? So I took it back to the lab and then found out. I was expecting it to be a polyphenol. Polyphenol are good antioxidant, and surprisingly, there were none. Instead, it was tocotrienol. I was dragged back into vitamin E tocotrienol. That's why I refer to this. This anato is the fate of my life. So it's like pure yeah, tocotrienol? And, and, right. Which uh, is the part you can't find in nature, a high dose of it. That is correct. Is that right? okay. Yes, because normally in nature you find a mix of tocopherol. Occasionally a mix of tocopherol with some tocotrienol. In this one here is completely tocopherol free. Only the two tocotrienol, two of eight possible molecules, only found two. Now, now then I really get excited because up until now, all the published study in animal study shows that of the eight molecules, of the eight compounds, the two inside of vitamin E we're talking in, about inside of vitamin E, the two uh, vitamin E that are most active uh, uh, in protecting many chronic conditions are delta tocotrienol and gamma tocotrienol. And would you believe it when my, I discovered this from Anato? It only have two vitamin E compounds. It would be delta tocotrienol and gamma tocotrienol. So I immediately called my friend up, the father of modern day tocotrienol, professor in University of Wisconsin. He said, Asaf, I got this. What do you think? 
And then he, I, I okay. distinctively remember his remark. He said, Barry, if toco trienol will mitigate chronic condition, your anato toco trienol better mitigate chronic condition. So I committed the rest of my 20 years to systematically study this compound. So that you had to th figure out a way to extract this to this uh, toco trienol out of the sedato plant. Yes. Because it's currently being used, I guess, in cheeses, in dyes, in lipstick, because it's such a thick color. Yes. Is that correct? That is correct. And in then fact, you studied the part about the, the healing benefits. Yes. And it loves cancer. And it loves cancer. So it loves to and grab on the cancer cells and kill them. Yes. Is that true? That, That's not an overstatement. That is true. Uh, the toco particularly if it's delta and gamma toco it recruits to the cancer cell much more potently than tocopherol. And uh, it would go to the normal cell. And when it goes to the normal cell, it protects the normal cell. But when it comes, it recruits 10 times faster in pancreatic cancer, as an example, to the pancreatic cancer. And when it recruits there, it's not protecting the cancer cell. It kills the cancer cell. When it recruits the normal so it protects the normal cell. A very big difference. Okay, let's talk about this because we talked on the telephone. You said that there is a study with uh, stage one, stage two pancreatic cancer currently going on. I think you said in the Florida study. Yes. Is that right? And you said that these people were at stage one, stage two, and in 14 days they had to get uh, the tumors removed. Is correct. that correct? That is correct. And they took tocotrienol, this annatto, mm -hmm. for 14 days and every one of them on the high dose, 600, 800 milligrams, created apoptosis, which is cancer cell death. That is, is that right. true? And it happened? That is true. And the and oncologists the, agreed with this? Yes. Finding? And they published this study. So it's a not ongoing. It ha already had. And the reason they do it 14 days, which is exceedingly short period of time, is because of all among the cancers, pancreatic cancer is the deadliest of all. They cannot wait. They have to excise the tumor. So when they did this, so I was a little nervous. This is such a short time to able to deliver an effect. And they did. Yes, they found that the optimal dose is about four to eight hundred milligram but the interesting thing is their lowest dose in the clinical trials is 200 even at the lowest dose they found that the cancer death in the cancer cell I was right? I was amazed okay you know and that's one of the reasons why we had to have you on the show you know one of my uh, he's not a friend of mine but I've known him for about 20 years um, uh, Jonathan Lazat yes. owns designs for health which is one of the largest professional brand supplement companies in the country and he said you have to talk to Barry Tan the PhD about this annatto and what it's doing with cancer and what it's doing with fatty liver and what it's doing for prostate cancer and breast cancer and things like that let, let me mention right at the beginning of your book you have an ebook and I'm gonna quote it but I'm gonna paraphrase it slightly the woman said she had stage 4 breast cancer which is pretty bad mm -hmm. all she and she refused uh, chemo or radiation and she took this Adato pill. And within six months, she contacted you and said she's cancer free. Is that right? That is right. Now, we have increased. And these are anecdotal stories, but these are real stories. That it, these are real stories. And we are seeing more and more of this coming to, uh, to us because they're so grateful that this is working to them. We have no say. They believe it and they did this and it's working on them. In a scientific arena, you have to have control study. So this is not a, a scientist not accepted. won't accept it. Okay. But, but we have taken this onto a petri dish, a test tube study, we call it. And we have also done animal study. In the test tube study, we clearly see... Like that you put a cancer cell and you put... The annatto. The annatto toco trino on the microscope. Yeah, and then you can see the cell just turn itself off and it just dies. It dies. And then we put normal cells, we put the toco trino from the annatto on, it would help the cell. The cell would just grow like get normally. Thicker, get better? No, it, it just grow normally. You see, in other words, to keep in mind, now the audience may be asking, you say, oh, you, does it grow faster, better? No, it just grow normally. Because if you're a normal person, you grow normally. We see it. It didn't die, it didn't go faster, it didn't go slower, it go normally. Now you're going to a wedding, you said. And uh, you said there was a guy given three months, a doctor, a medical doctor. Yes. Given three months to live and started taking an auto, and that was six years ago. That is right. And he's living uh, to tell the story. What kind of cancer? He had liver cancer. 
And it's even not even a study that we are conducting. There was not one of the one that I named, but he was wanting and desperate enough because he had three months to live. I sent to him, I told him that we don't have study. We have animal study on this and it worked. He said that, but I don't have clinical trials. He said that, hey, you know, you've got nothing to lose. And, and that's exactly what he said also. I sent it to him uh, and then I was holding my breath, see how it would work. And he actually told me, he emailed me back and said that he's doing better, can walk out of his heart and can leave to go home and return uh, to be a, a, a medical doctor like that. So I was thrilled and now six years later, I'm looking forward to meeting him in a few days. This yeah. supplement, that's a vitamin E, tocotrienol, mm -hmm. it's an antioxidant. Yes. Is that correct? That is correct. So just so we have a definition of antioxidant, actually you helped me understand this from reading your book, but like for example, uh, an apple, you buy it out of an apple, it turns brown with the air over time, mm -hmm. or, or an avocado turns brown. Yes. You squeeze a lemon on those things, that's the antioxidant. So it, in a way it's kind of like an anti-aging formula mm -hmm. for those two things. Yes. Okay, is that how anato works at the cellular level? You say we have 38 trillion cells. So Lots of books on the market about cellular health, mitochondria, and you say this targets and makes your cells healthier. So we'll start there. Yes, thank you. And it does work as an antioxidant. And 38 trillion cells is about 5,000 5, times the population of the Earth. So there's a lot of cells. And the most important thing on the cell is the cell membrane. And why the cell membrane? Because the cell membrane is populated with fatty acid, with fat. So it's and, made of like fat? Yeah, it's made of like okay. fat. And then they're easy to be oxidized, to so go rancid. So now you gotta have things that protect it. And the best protectant of the fat on the cell wall to go rancid is tocotrienol and tocopherol. And between the two, tocotrienol performs 50 times better than tocopherol to protect the anti, uh, to protect the fat on the cell wall. And why is it so important yeah. to protect the cell wall? Because the cell wall maintain the integrity of what goes in and what goes out. Otherwise, a cell is not going so to be able to... So what does that mean? So cells have things that are going in and out? For example, the nutrients have to go into the cell. Okay. And when the cell make refuse, they have to get out of the cell. It cannot stay in the cell. It has to come out of the cell. So for that, for example, sugar. Sugar have to go in the cell to give the cell energy. And when the cell produces ATP, which is energy conversion, it have to deliver outside. Or when the, when the cell make all this protein, this and that, it, it is also waste produced. So when the waste is produced, it have to get out of the cell. They go in and out of the cell through the cell membrane. So if the cell membrane is not performing properly, the cell is not functioning So this properly. anato, yes. by taking it, yeah. You can show in the lab, in animal studies, and now some of the human studies, that it's making the cell stronger, yes. bigger. You're a scientist, mm -hmm. and a researcher, and a professor, and, and you lecture to medical doctors across mm -hmm. the country. Yeah. Is that correct? Um, so are they more interested? I mean, would you say this is one of the most powerful antioxidants that is found right now in nature? Uh, for lipid antioxidant. Okay. The, if it's water soluble, then the alpha lipoid acid and vitamin C. But it in a lipid format, then it is the strongest lipid antioxidant. For the sake of time, and I'm trying not to rush here, but we only have about five minutes left. Uh, this is working with people with Alzheimer's. Mm. Uh, it's good for the bones. Uh, helps with the arteries, keeping plaque from sticking to it. Radiation protection, good for the prostate, breast cancer, cholesterol and triglycerides, weight loss, fatty liver. Uh, and people in a study with high triglycerides, the blood fat, mm -hmm. took this and had a 28% lower triglycerides just by taking this. Yes. It, it, all of that's true. All of that is true. And, and uh, the big picture is it helped people with chronic condition. It lowered triglycerides so that they would not get into diabetes. It lowered cholesterol so that they, they would not plaque the artery. It, it uh, contained the sugar so they also would not go into diabetes. And also if it lowers the fat, it also removes the fat out of the, of the liver. And so people would not have fatty liver. 
it also helps postmenopausal women to make the calcium stay in the bone so that they would not get into osteoporosis. So there's studies to back up everything you just said? Yes, uh, uh, with one uh, uh, correction. So far, we have done animal study and it works on giving returning memory to the animal. We have not gotten to clinical trial on, on dementia and Alzheimer disease yet, but we're very hopeful. Okay, so this, this, this antioxidant, Mm -hmm. that's in the vitamin E, tocotrienol, very powerful. It, it, uh, it targets inflammation. Not it only does it kill cancer cells, yeah. because you know this, you could see it attacking cancer cells, mm -hmm. but it, atta it attracts inflammation. So with Alzheimer's, they're saying now the new, uh, like Bredesen's book on mm -hmm. the end of Alzheimer's is saying that amyloid plaques might be an inflammatory response, a protective mechanism. Mm -hmm. Do you think that that's what's going on and why, it's, why it may help with Alzheimer's prevention? Yes, based on our other studies, both animal and clinical trials, we systematically see that when the uh, protection is as an antioxidant, it will reduce the inflammation. And when you reduce the inflammation, you essentially silence many of the aberrant things, the bad things that the cell is going to, because you silence them, because you reduce the oxidation. And it reaches the brain? And it reaches the brain as is well that, as the liver, as well as uh, those three or four organs I mentioned to you on cancer. Let's talk about fatty liver for a second. Mm. Uh, and we are rushed on time. But so this in a way is good for weight loss. It is good for weight loss. It, it, okay, this, we, we were not expecting weight loss, as in weight loss product. We give it to uh, the patient for three months and surprisingly uh, the weight loss by 10, 10 pounds. And then okay. now we're conducting a follow-up study for six months, and they continue to have sustained weight loss up until 17 pounds. How? I, what's going on? Okay. We, we think that what's going on is two things. They take the, they take the fat out of the liver, because their fatty liver is a good thing, and the enzymes, the stress enzyme in the liver drop about 20, 25%. An excellent thing. Every endocrinologist would tell you it's a good thing. All of this is because the cells are stronger or better. Yes, and that, functioning better. Okay. Because if the cell, the cell normally does this, but when the cell is becoming dysfunctional, it can't do what it's supposed to do. And in the liver, is the this, this thing is very simple. When the liver get past 5% fat, it will beginning to be stressed. Once it gets stressed, it will be not able to perform all the 600 functions that the liver does. So it makes the liver better. It lifts to make the liver better. And this is now, clearly an, an exciting thing. I'm looking forward to the results coming up. Now, could you prove like, for example, and this may be much of a stretch, but like inflammatory markers, mm -hmm. like you take a natto, are they looking at like C-reactive protein, things like this? Is it having any effect on these inflammatory markers? Yes, we, we study two markers. We study something called oxidized fat uh, 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 from the blood. And the oxidized fat drop typically about uh, 30 to 40 percent. We were very encouraged, you know, oxidized fat in the blood, no good. Uh, in the blood is no good. We also study C-reactive protein, a stress enzyme from the liver in the blood. And when we said it dropped about 20 to 30 percent. So all that to say- 20 to 30 percent? Yeah. The 20, numbers for C-reactive protein, protein drop? drop? Yeah. And so the C-reactive protein dropped 20, 30 percent and the oxidized fat dropped 30 to 40 percent. So the two combined is a fantastic condition for people that have fatty liver condition. When you lower inflammation in the body, this is important in the body because that is a sign to tell us that your body is beginning to kick back in and is out of kilter, is getting back into normal kilter and is functioning properly. So it is very good to see the inflammation under control. Okay, now you have other studies and we're, I'm back to cancer for, for mm -hmm. a minute. You have new studies coming out even the end of the year. Yes. Many studies, what are yes. they about? Okay. We have one, uh, we finished one is on ovarian cancer. At the end of the year, we have two studies uh, that will come out. They will be on breast cancer and on colon cancer. These are much bigger number of people on breast cancer and even larger number of people with, uh, with colon cancer. And they are also randomized and blinded study. When these studies come out, we will know uh, how tocotrienol will, will work with women with breast cancer, how they fight against that, and also with colon cancer that people might have.
Now, one of the most well-known guys in the world of supplements, professional brand with medical doctors, the largest uh, company that services doctors uh, with, with, with uh, professional brand supplements is Jonathan Lazat. Yes. We're gonna bring him on the show. He told me, he said, Randy, because every time I talk to him, I talk to him probably once every five years. And, and I always say, if I only had to take one supplement, what would it be? And he called me and he said, Randy, the one supplement I found, which is this Anato uh, 300 of vitamin E. Yes. And uh, he believes it. So, so we're gonna talk to him a little bit about it. In fact, he was bold. He said, Randy, and he's almost yelling on the phone. He's so passionate about it. And this is not a salesy guy. He's a science nerd. Yeah. He said, Randy, I don't believe I'll ever get cancer. That's a bold statement. I mean, it's anecdotal and it's his opinion. Uh, I know that you're not in a position to make those kind of claims, but, but let's, let's, let's hear from Jonathan. Jonathan, welcome to the program. Thank you, Randy. Pleasure to spend some time with you. Now, you are the CEO of Designs for Health, and people that don't know Designs for Health, and I've known a little bit about it for about 20 years, the medical doctors in the know at the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine, Functional Medicine, these are the biggest conferences for integrative doctors. They use Designs for Health. Uh, we'll get that out of the way. And you could find it in every major pharmacy, Designs for Health, and at medical offices across the country. We had a conversation, hadn't talked to years, and you said, Randy, this Anato sourced tocotrienol is gonna change my business and possibly healthcare. Um, and today we're talking about cancer specifically today. Uh, but Jonathan, what you said it's the, it's the one supplement if you were on a, uh, stranded on a deserted island, it's the one supplement you would take. So let's talk about Anato and some of the cancer benefits and how you see it playing out. Well, great. I, um, certainly, when it comes to Anato, so so when I was first introduced to it, probably well over 15 years ago, I sadly, it took me a little while for it to, for it to sink in. It was almost too hard to believe. But, but over the years, the research piled up and it's a, on a whole bunch of different conditions. So in conditions including osteoporosis and uh, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, uh, Alzheimer's, uh, metabolic syndrome, um, and, and cancer. And, uh, and, and I see things, for instance, in cancer research, for the first time ever, a study came out a controlled study in a hospital setting with an IRB and researchers. This, was, uh, this, this research was, was done in Denmark. And in Denmark, they want to find something that works and is less expensive. And they identified a nanotoker trial, something that may work and is less expensive. A trial that was just published in January of this year, 2019, proved in stage four ovarian cancer patients, like about the most difficult form of cancer uh, to treat. Stage four, unfortunately, these women are, are, are destined to, to pass away in a very short period of time. The women in this study that took a non-source tocotrona lived 12, twice as long as women that were not uh, taking any of the non-source tocotrona. And my gosh, if that's a loved one of yours, if that's a mother, if that's your wife, and you get an extra year or two with them because of this, this source of tocotrienol. What an amazing blessing uh, that is. Nice. And, and we've proven that that is, that is uh, the case in this For research. More than 20 years, this is a fact. I've been trying to get you on my show to talk about supplements. You wouldn't do it until now. Yeah, um, you're right. With Anato. It is, this has me so excited. And I am so confident that we're going to uh, I'm not only confident I've witnessed it, the, the significant benefit, even friends that we have that, that are already taking uh, another tocotrienol, friends that we have that have had cancer scares that are taking another tocotrienol, and in, in every instance, they are better today. Um, I, it's just, I, I just know it's making a difference in people's lives. Okay, uh, Jonathan Lazat, I want to thank you for coming on the program. Thank you, Randy. You know, we're out of time. So, so final message. I mean, how does somebody get this? I guess you guys have the patent on, on the extraction mm -hmm. process of this. So they can go to the Designs for Health website, look for a practitioner that carries it. Uh, you, they could go to your website, get some. It's, it's inexpensive. Yes. I mean, literally, look, we I should mention, we talked for about six hours on the phone. I mean, this is a big topic. For people watching this, if you want the longer version of this, which is a, a, a long discussion, uh, just 
uh, you know, visit his website and request the the link and his free audiobook mm -hmm. or a free, I'm sorry, ebook to hear the rest of the story. Um, so what's next with this for you? We uh, continue to uh, pass this message to as far and as wide as possible so that people can access it, to take it even for the protection so that they will be warding away from chronic conditions. And prevention is so hard to sell. It's yes. like people want to take a pill and it does this. They take a drug, it does this. Which I should mention, are the drug companies should be all over this. If what you're saying is true, are they looking into this? Yes, the drug company have used this to test uh, on people with lowering cholesterol. So they were onto this. And more recently, I see some other drug company uh, testing it on other conditions, like uh, condi conditions to prevent uh, some nerve deficit, nerve disorder like that. Uh, not yet on cancer, except for our own study that probably, if it's successful, could potentially be a drug in EU. So that okay. will be from our sixth trial. So in 10 years from now, five years from now, the overwhelming evidence from these trials that you're doing will mm -hmm. show that this is effective and safe. Is that right? Is that, that your hunch? Yes, that it will be effective and safe. And even for people not under treatment can take it for the protection, if for no other reason to protect the 38 trillion cells so that their body is functioning So more properly. energy, feeling better, uh, great for the brain, and it attacks and kills the cancer cells. That is correct. Now, in, 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 you know, we have to, you know, because we're airing this on television, we have to be careful about the claims and things like that. And I have to mention that many of what we're talking, much of what we're talking about today, when it kills the cancer cells, is anecdotal. But you're saying that you're seeing it in the lab and in animal studies. Yes. So in a way, we can say that, yeah. if that's true. Yes. We, these uh, published study in, in lab and animal studies, uh, we have not got the regulatory device, so we cannot say it on a bottle unless we officially ask the FDA for approval. Eventually, but, are you going to get FDA approval, is your opinion? In my opinion, would be it is very probable we can do it uh, with the FDA, but we will start with the EU first because the studies are all done currently in Denmark. Where? In Denmark. In Denmark. Yes. So we're going to get the possibly with the EMA, European Medicine Agency, equivalent to the FDA. And should that uh, occur, then probably we can get the whole dossier and ask the FDA for the same kind of claims for the US. So that would be the hope for the future. But for now, we can report the study, including the clinical study. And in the animal study, for me, it's a done deal because there are 500 papers published on it that it would work in animal study. Killing and, the cancer cell. Uh, killing the cancer cell. And then in the clinical trials, they're coming up one by one. You, you are allowed to report the clinical trial, but to get it to be said on your bottle or in production like this, then, uh, uh, then there are certain things that we cannot say. There's that different rules, different regulations regulate. when it comes to that. Yes. Okay, good. But, but take it, all your friends take it? Yes. Your family families uh, all take yeah, it? Yeah, and I've been taking it for the last 35 years. I'm the person who's probably taking Toko Tundra for the longest for 35 years. Is that right? Okay, and I know your age, you look about 20 years younger than your age. <laughs> uh, so you're, you're doing pretty well, you move around freely, you're, you're fit, looking good. So again, thanks, thanks for coming on the program. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. You've been watching the Wellness Hour news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.